Hello everybody, this is Raven, and this is Raven Mag Games, and we're going to be playing a game named Franbo. I have had this game for a while. Um, I think I tried playing it like a long time ago. Uh, I don't really remember much of it. Um, I remember there is creepy aspects to it. So for those who get bothered by I can't remember the strobing lights or whatever but uh I thought my first video would be great to play this one so let's try it out uh, Franbo alright new game yes I remember there's an auto save feature I deleted everything I did in the past, so there should be a clean slate. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Oh, it's so cute. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner, and I see my Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. Mm. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Oh, dear Lord. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. Oof. It's Mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. Ooh. And closer. No. Mom. Dad. Please don't. Oh. Mommy. Daddy. Oh, God. We're not fine. We're not fine at all. Oh, no. Oh, this poor girl. Oh. The cat's giving somebody. I was going to say help, but... Hey. Just going to leave? Oh, well, it's people. So I would leave, too. Oh, they look like cult members. No, the cat like cult members grab me. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. <laughs> three. Oh god, counting down scares me. My parents used to count down. Man, he got to three, he got a butt whooping. But he's not like that, huh? Friend, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. I feel like dying. Well, you know... You know, no, you can't be fine. Dude, you just imagine your family being chopped up in little pieces. 
and then getting abducted by cult members. I there is no way you're fine. I feel like dying. Yeah, internally dying. <clears throat> try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. My parents are dead. I'll try. You know, I think me personally, I guess I would try. I mean, I would understand, like, kind of freaking out, but it seems like she's been here a while, so uh, I'll try. Yes, I'll try, doctor. That's positive attitude. Thank you. I'm talking, only crazy people say I'm not crazy, okay? Like, it, logically, if you're not crazy, you wouldn't even think that you were, cr well, never mind. Forget what I said. Crazy people don't think that they're crazy either. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm just tired, man. You know, it's been a long day, seen a lot of bodies. I'm just tired. Of course you are. These sessions can be rough for you. Good point, Doc. Yep, they're rough. But now I have something for you, Fran. Uh, what is it? Oh, really? Uh, okay, what is it? What is it, Doc? See the desk? There's a little package for you. <laughs> You're getting some new medicine? No, I'm kidding. It's probably not that. He's probably a legitimate doctor. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Oh. So, I can't remember. Is it a... Oh, my goodness. The WASD, the WASD. He's actually moved my mouse around. I didn't know that. Oh. Cool. I could try to be lazy at this. All right. So, yeah. This is Franbo. Oh, no. Clickety, clickety. The heels. I... Okay. So, I'm not going to say that I 100% have never played this game. I've heard a lot about it. I've seen some snippets of it from other gamers. Um, I haven't really watched any playthroughs. I tried playing it a long time ago. But, uh, like I said, it was a long time ago. And I don't remember nothing from it, really. I mean, maybe some things that kind of stick out. Um... But yeah, other than that, I haven't. Okay, so this is probably it. I mean, it's kind of easy to kind of figure out what you can grab, what you can't in these. Because, of course, like the mouse changes. Okay, dokie. Oh, you can try to leave? No, we'll just, we'll be nice. This is my mother's purse. Oh, Lord. Look at that. Open it. There's something inside. Obviously, it's okay to have. Because he probably looked through it first, you horrible man. You're not supposed to look through a woman's purse. Rude. Lost and found. Oh. Oh. Never noticed the little thingies on here. That's the thing in the window. And he looks familiar, but I can't remember what he is in this. Okay. We're, oh, shoot. No. Hold on. Examine? Exa examine. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I have a little bit of a residual cough. I got something to clear my throat. I got a drink. I was sick a little bit ago. Okay, dearest friend. Here's the person you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine objects and combine them into other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find. Wow, that was weird. Give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. <coughs> okay, so she's probably one of those kids that used to take a, like take apart things. And put them back together. She's worried about you. I've, you know, I, I'm a bit of worried too. I'm worried too because, oh, come on. You're digging yourself a hole, lady. Play nice. I'm worried too because I'm not crazy and I'm still here. Stop it. 
You're out of control, young lady. That was the first irate thing that I said. And he's already... You know what? Your temper. Okay. Fine. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it's time for your new medicine. Oh, we got some new pills. What medicine? No more medicine. You, you know... Let's just ask. What new medicine? It's called Duotine. Duotine. And it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Duo. It sounds like it needs to be cocktailed with something. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? Nothing, actually. Same vision as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran. Take your medicine. I don't want to. I remember it makes me trip balls. Fine. Pop the pill. Pop it. Okay. I don't feel good. Uh. I don't feel good? Oh! I told you. I remember. It's supposed to make me trip balls. I don't like it. Oh, the heads. Oh, no. Take her back to her room. Oh, no. Take her back. Call a doctor. Someone that's not going to... A, a non-shrink doctor. Yeesh. Am I... Am I supposed to be like this kid that's supposed to be experimenting on with drugs? <laughs> I have a feeling there was residual effects of these drugs that I was not told about. Oh, God. Beware, friend, Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. I'm like half expecting. Fran, wake up. I'm like half. Oh, come on. The medicine will help you escape. What? I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. I love you. Here, take some pills. Oh, I don't know about this. My sober day. <laughs> oh, no. This sounds like a rehab center. Oh, God. My poor person. But I was always expecting him to say, like, if you leave the house of madness, I'll swallow your soul like the evil dead. But yeah, okay. Hey, Fran. Wakey. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Did you not hear the demon? The demon said he'll, like, literally make you go insane if you leave. But then if you stay here, you'll probably go insane. So, I mean, it's a lose-lose. Might as well. Oh, clown. Okay, so for people who don't know... I hate clowns. I hate them. Okay, what's this? What? Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. How many days has it been? I only took the pills once and now I'm like addicted to it like a coke fiend? What? What's this? Oh, my clipboard. Fran Bo Dagenhart. That's a name. 10 female history. Patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family. Dagenhart. Family tragedy, detailed, omitted, treatment, Dr. Marcel Dern has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. Okay, so I can't take the red pills no more. Ugh. I will get your nose, I'll get it. Why are you like this? 
Good reason to be curious. Why is my bed nightstand locked? Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. <laughs> I get that. I get it. Oh, sweet. Sweet melody. Oh! Homie, I'm sorry. I did not... I did not mean that. Oh, I took the hook. I took the hook. Okay. Oh, no. All I want to do is look outside. Why do they have a watchtower like I'm in prison? You know, this kind of reminds me of one who flew over the cuckoo's nest. Not even going to lie. Okay. Alright. I was going left. Might as well keep going left. Hi. Oh, friend. You're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? <clears throat> Three days! Did you drug me more? Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it again. Um, okay. You kind of look grouchy. Um, but, you know, I have to be honest about it. I kind of did something. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. I'm admitting that I did it. I kind of broke the curtains. Yeah, I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Oh, come on. You make it seem like I'm like the worst person on the planet. At least I told you I did it. Okay, nothing useful. Well, I'm going to try to take your crap. Oh, what? They never let me have any fun. Oh, she's going to rip me a new one. Something is missing. Have you seen a hook that holds the curtain up? Uh, what hook? <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. We'll have to go find something to fix this, you little girl. I bet you you were going to say a different word. Proud of you being the bigger adult here. Oh. I, you know, I've been trying to grab those band-aids the whole time. I'm a sucker for band-aids, okay? Ew. It's just coffee. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe def deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects... Some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can interpret as paranoia, drawing of the brain, frontal lobe, motor cortex, sensory effect. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. This is just copy and paste here. There's nothing. No, oh, booey. Of course, her name is Gladys. Brand Bow. Okay. Patient has sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been something for three days some kids have come around and asked because about her while she would come out and play eight h why why would there be okay you know budget I'm gonna just. Oh no, where did all my pens go? I'm not doing this in Sharpie. I refuse. 
Maybe a pencil. I, I don't care at this moment because this looks important. Okay. Um, okay, so it's just pretty much the alphabet. I don't even need to write this down. Alright, whatever. It's the alphabet. Oh, Lord. Why would she have that? Let's just... Oh, no. Okay, we're going to cover that up. Hide. Oh, wait. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So that's... Eight. Hey. Okay, so how... Homie. Okay. This is frustrating. <laughs> How do I do this? I'm clicking the thing. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Okay. So, eight, nine. And then A, B, C, D is four. A, B, C, D, E, and that's five. All that for pills. You know, I started over here first, so might as well. Oh! Nasty. Hello, Miss Nurse. You dropped your... Oh. Okay. I guess that's a thing. I was just gonna pick the ball up. It, it's it's kind of like... I, I mean... Whatever you pick up or interact with, your hand changes. Wait, what'd she say? Are you alright? Uh, hello, Miss Ness? Okay, why is it boarded up? Towels... Watch my step. There's a handprint from the outside. Uh, bunny swing makes you dizzy. I hate you. Just letting you know. I got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? No. Get out, creepy creature. Can the creepy creature say something? No. Oh my goodness. Oh lord. Okay. In here now. Oh, there's a base. Ew! Why cockroaches? You're sleeping, sweet bunny. No, he's not sleeping. Oh, dear God. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Oh, you're worried about your head. Who did it? I don't know who did it. Where'd the clown go? Oh, no. I'm freaked out of clowns. Oh. No, absolutely not. You can tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Brand's mental condition isn't stable yet. Yeah, look at what I'm dealing with right now, Miss Grace. You don't understand her. She's a very special girl. 
Grace, you see the things I'm tripping out over? Like, that's not normal. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. I don't, I don't, you know, I hate to say this. I'm kind of pro-doctor right now. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. He's not crying. Stop staring at me. Okay. Alright. Oh, why do the kids look worse than the people in here? Oh, I'm just, you know, I'm a kleptomaniac. I'm just taking crap that's not mine. I hope somebody loves you. I really think that's sad being in a kid's game. Or in a game about kids. What? I can't play with you now. I'm on a secret mission. A horse. Oh, wooden Mr. Horse. Are you having a good time? If I sit down, I'll eventually have to get up. So what's the point? You know, she's been facts. Fillmore Bronstone. Eight male. Patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment, daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dern. He has not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Fillmore. Okay, let's talk to you. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. Uh, they're just stupid. You're fine. You're always saying that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? Um... I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside. The key. Is there a key inside? I saw the doctor write a secret code. Ooh, I like secrets. He does, doesn't does want me to tell you. Uh, who? The doctor? Him. I hate when he points and there's nobody there. Who? Oh, God. What? Oh, Mr. Goathead, dude. All doors are closed. You're a prisoner in my whatever. And no one will help you escape. Mwah. Leave me alone. I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. That is true. I need you so much. Uh, anything? 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 Oh no, it's closed. Oh, Jesus. Mr. Dear, you're new. Oh, God. The happiness? You can see. Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. Sitting next to you. Phil is playing with his uncle and the uncle is mad. Phil is crying. Oh, poor Phil. Do you see? You killed the bird. Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. Phil is playing with his uncle and the uncle is mad. Oh, you killed the bird. Your mommy's not happy. Uncle will die. I don't get it. I don't get it. Can I get out? Okay, that didn't help me at all. How do I... Well, you know... I've been playing this for a bit. And I think I'll... Maybe... <gasps> There's a key. Okay. Well, since I figured that out... Um... 
I'm going to end it here, but I will start up the next episode. And I hope you all have a good day, and I hope it's not like this game, and you don't end up in a psych ward. Alright, so take it easy everybody, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.